How's it going, guys? Welcome back to the blue shifting, and today might be an interesting day. So, we just learned from the representative of the company who's sponsoring us that there was some type of tragedy associated with Yuna's brother. And he recommended we talk to her about it, which means it's probably going to come up the next time we talk to her. Obviously, it's a source of much pain for her, because she's avoided this topic before. And, uh... We get a choice of who we get to hang out with, and I'm going to click on Yuna because I want to see her. Like, she's wonderful and amazing, but this is going to be an interesting uh, interaction, possibly. So cross our fingers, please. I don't want to mess this up. This is, like, the critical point. I need to make sure I don't screw this up. Oh. You're ready to have your hearts torn. I think this is going to be emotional. But let's dive in. I dial in his number. Now, of course, remember, we may it may not be now. We'll have to see. Hello? Hi, Yuna. What are you up to this evening? I'm in the small auditorium in the drama center. Oh, maybe another one of her club tries? Oh, is there a play? Not quite. I'm attending a class run by the improv club. You should come. Ooh, sounds fun. Okay. That sounds like fun. I'll be right there. Great. See you soon. Oh, this could be amusing. Oh, uh, maybe it'll be good. Maybe nothing bad will happen. <laughs> as, soon as, hang up, as soon as I hang up the phone, I head to the drama center. When I arrive, I spot Yuna sitting towards the right of the room. As I head over, I run straight into someone. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Wait a minute. Hey, I know you. Hmm? Aren't you the instructor from the cooking club? You teach improv too? Oh, wow. Same guy? He laughs. No, that's my twin brother. Ah... Uh, Oh, I see. Anyway, have a seat. We are about to get started. Same voice actor, though. <laughs> That's a handy way. Handy way to pull that off. He marches to the front of the room while I sit beside Yuna. She smiles in acknowledgement. The auditorium has about 30 people. Although I've never considered improv before, I suppose it's something a lot of people are interested in. Something I hope to take classes in personally, honestly. I think it might help with dialogue talking to you guys i mean it's it, i i hope i can be kind of funny and i hope i get to bring some like enlightenment and stuff to this whole thing but i think i could always improve and i hope that i get to in the future welcome to improv uh for those of us new to this group improv is live acting everything is made up in the moment plot character dialogue everything every performance is unique and cannot be recreated in exactly the same way it's pretty cool. Um, I've always loved I, uh, the TV show. I grew up watching. Uh, Whose line is it anyway? There's like that was the definition of improv, really. And I think it'd be really fun. I actually think I'd be good at it. I'm really good at thinking on my feet and coming up with responses. It's characterization. I wonder if I struggle with. You know, something I can't really judge too much in myself. I try to be dramatic. I try and have feeling in my acting, acting, but like. I need to be able to bounce it off people and hear like good rhetoric back. So if you guys have any advice or like things I could do better, please, please let me know. I'd love to hear it. Okay, everyone partner up. We're going to have each team perform a skit. This actually has lots of potential for a lot of fun. You know, and I not each other. It doesn't matter if you're a newbie to improv or a veteran. The most important thing to remember is to go with the flow. Your partner might throw something completely wild at you, but that's okay. That's so. what makes improv fun. The question now is, are we going to make it flow like nicely, or are we going to throw random stuff in? Probably You'll have a random. choice of scenarios on stage for each pair to choose from. Once the scene has been set, then the only rule is to do whatever comes to mind. And the general rule in improv is always say yes, <laughs> like go with the flow. So, any volunteers? I raise my hand. Yeah, let's do this. We volunteers tribute. <laughs> You know, startled, but doesn't object. Wonderful. Come on up, then. Oh, gosh. Are you ready? She seems nervous, but nods. As ready as I'll ever be, I guess. Maybe that's a little little fast to go for, but come on. I uh, It's always like, just get it done. On, You'll find on the scenario options on the table over there. <sighs> Once you've decided, read the scenario oh. out loud for the rest of the class. I don't want to mess this up, guys. <laughs> we walk over to the table in the corner of the stage. Which one do you want to do? Hmm. I read the descriptions. You're at the beach, you're, you've been gender swapped. Oh, jeez. You must declare your dying confession in the arms of your love. 
Oh, what is this? <laughs> is he like, okay, so you have the beach, but your gender swap could be like an amusing one. <clears throat> Declaring your dying confession in the arms of your love could be almost too real, but that would make it really fun. Oh, fetch, guys. Oh, fetch. I don't know what I want to do. Mmm. Uh. Let's do it. Uh, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared! A deathbed confession. Can I be the one who's dying? Sure. I'll follow your lead then. Alright, let's do it. Okay. After we select our description, I read it aloud for the class. The instructor then gives us the signal to begin. Yuna signals that she will follow my lead. I rush into the stage, dodging imaginary arrows. Ah! Oh, no! I clutch my chest as one of the arrows hits me. Hits me. And I stumble around the stage before falling to my knees. My breath shortens to the gasps so I slowly lay on my back. No! Oh, nice! Yuna races onto the stage and cradles my head in her lap. Oh, I picked a good one! Stay with me! I, gr I gurgle faintly. <coughs> you. Shh! Don't talk! Everything will be okay! Oh, she's really good. There's something I have to tell. You. you can tell me when you're better. Come closer. She leads in. Her hair tickles my cheek. I whisper to her. It's too late. I'm dead. <laughs> Something beautiful. I'm sorry. We couldn't have more time together. Don't talk like that. I fade a hawking bit. <clears throat> I'll always remember the times we had. As the words come out, I fall limp in her arms. Dead. No! Please come back to me! What will I do without you? She shakes me gently, but I don't stir. Her voice grows thick. I'll never forget you! Ooh, man, that's good. She pulls my face to her breast and hugs me. Oh, snap. <laughs> Stay in character. Although I'm actually aware of my nose nestled in her soft bosom, I remain still. After all, I'm supposed to be dead, and dead people don't move. After a moment, she tenses up and she realizes something. Oh! She po po pushes me away from her as her face grows bright, feet red. The audience laughs, causing her face to burn even redder. So, uh, the student professor claps his hands. Great job, you two! Have either of you done improv before? N no, 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 no. We shook our heads. You're a natural! Oh, yay! <laughs> Oh boy, hmm. That was everything that could have been amazing about that. Oh, yes! <laughs> really? Yes, that was hilarious! You two have great chemistry together. You make an awesome team. Hilarious? Why was it funny? Oh, maybe the ending. Thank you! Yeah, thanks. Oh, whoa! I totally said that before the line got done. Seriously, this is- it channels me and my soul. Yuna glows with excitement as we return to our seats. We rocked it! Thanks for coming and joining me! No problem. That was a lot more fun than I expected it to be. Alright. I swapped out the scenarios on the table so we don't get any repeats. So who's next? Wanna do it again? <laughs> Yuna and I watched the other teams perform their skits in amusement of, uh, to the amusement of us all. By the time everyone had finished, my side hurts from laughing so hard. As I entered the house- oh, that was wonderful. Oh, why was I worried? <laughs> As I enter the house, I hear soft giggles coming from the living room. Oh dear. The tuft of blonde hair peeks over the couch. Another wave of giggles floats from the couch, but ceases abruptly as I step closer. Hmm. Well, this could be a couple things. I wonder which one it will be. Maybe she bring a boy home. Nikki hangs at the phone and turns around to greet me. Oh, okay, so it's on the phone. Hi, big bro. I pop down next to her. Who was that guy? <laughs> Her eyes grow wide. How did you know it was a guy? <laughs> uh, just stare at her. <laughs> I could do to look at her. Come on. What? Do I really need to answer that? So who was it? No one. Doesn't sound like no one. He's just a classmate. Uh huh. I reach around and grab Nikki's phone while she's distracted. <laughs> She screams in my ear as she leaps over me, reaching toward her phone. I fend her off and keep her phone away while grasping her hands. She continues to struggle. I worm my way off the couch and flip through her call list before she can scramble to her feet. 
I dial the last number. The, the, the last dialed number is to a uh, Ken. Ooh, Barbie. What kind of weird Japanese name is Ken? She Nikki scratches the snatches the phone right as I speak, then pummels my chest with her fists. Oh my God, you are such a jerk. <laughs> is he even a real person? Of course he is. But his name is Ken. <laughs> You're the worst. Oh snap! She hits me hard one last time before turning on heel and storming upstairs. When she's halfway to the top, she pauses. And by the way, Ken means strong in Japanese. Oh, okay. Nikki stops to her room and slams the door. Oh, oh come, come on, sorry. I was just being a brother. That's, that's what we do. We, we're nosy. She's nosy about my life. Oh, yeah. Oops. Still, Ken. <laughs> I hear laughter. Is that me? Did I just laugh out loud? Oh, no. Kato is leaning against the doorway behind me. Broad smile on his face. I jump when I see him. Ah! First Akira, and now Akato. How is everyone always sneaking up on me? <laughs> That's good. Ken is a funny name. It's like... Ken! <laughs> okay. He continues laughing at his joke. A lot of quotes. Uh, then gradually calms down. Why does your face look like that? Like what? I always look like this. No, like this. Oh, <laughs> he mimics a look of cringing and disbelief. I don't... What? I, I should go do my homework. Good idea. Get smart. <laughs> Get smart. The more you know. <laughs> I slowly head towards the stairs, still not sure about what just happened. Yeah, I, I kind of... like. I don't know what happened at the last part either. As I walk up the stairs, I can still hear faint chuckles from Kato and the echoes of Kenyan. Okay. Since I was already in my room, caught up on studying until it was time to sleep. And the next day... I wonder if our match is soon. I wake up in a drive and throw off the blankets. Today is a match against Ana Bogachi. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. Of course, I called it. I run through the morning... <laughs> I run through the morning routine, thinking of strategies in my head. Then try to refocus as I finish my breakfast. I still have class to attend before my match. I grab my bag and hop on my bike. There's an unexpectedly heavy amount of traffic this morning as I rush into, and I rush into class right on time. <sighs> that was a little too close for comfort. As I settle into my seat, the professor clears his throat beginning the lesson. Good morning, class. For today's lesson, we will discuss the differences between energy and kinetic weapons. Okay, pretty basic stuff. Sounds interesting. Uh, <laughs> skip. <laughs> hmm. I, I wonder if I can... Ah, that's, that's Let's for first it. review the two defensive mechanisms of a gear. The shield and hull. Buckle up for the lecture, guys. The hull is the physical gear. The shield is a virtually invisible barrier generated I, by using I the core's energy. The, that don't read. the strength of the shield varies greatly depending on the core, shield generator, and power allocation settings. Energy and kinetic weapons are meant to target opposite defenses. Energy-based arsenals are effective against shields as they quickly drain shield energy, but because of that, they are weak at penetrating the hull. Exactly. So if you have an energy rifle and a physical blade, what you'd want to do is drop their shields and then strike with the blade. Alternatively, kinetic weaponry is designed to puncture the armor, but they are weak against shields as the kinetic energy gets dispersed over a large surface area, the entire shield. For the purpose of war games and recreational sense. use, only energy weapons are permitted. Oh. A gear is considered destroyed when it is depowered. Of course, outside of recreational combat, this rule does not apply. A student raises his hand. What about hybrid weapons? Ooh, I was actually just thinking that. Ah, yes. Hybrid weapons are able to equally damage both the shield and hull. However, their damage strength is not as effective as a singular purpose weapon. I think it'd be interesting to have a, a, a rifle that had two modes. You know, like it had a, like a battery cell and a clip, and you could like change it by rotating like a new barrel into place or something. I don't know how the mechanics would work, or so, but it'd be interesting to be able to have both. The student nods in acknowledgement. Please turn to page 233, and let's take a look at the different types of energy weapons. All right. I flip to the page the professor mentions and continue listening to the lesson. Still good to know. I wonder if it'll like, really apply That's to all for today. energy. Please make sure you have all completed your web link assignments for next class. I pack my things and head to the hangar to meet up with my team. Our match is scheduled earlier than usual and we need to rethink our strategy. 
The plan we discussed had all revolved around our match against Strike X, but now that they're disqualified, we have come up with a new one against our new opponent. We have to come up with a new one. Hmm. I wonder what we know about them. I enter the hangar looking for Aurora. When I arrive, everyone is already there. Show waves. Rosa? Hey. Hi. Gary greets me with a nod. Good. We're all here. Let's head to the pre-combat room and start planning out strategies. Yep. Hey! Oh, hello, May. We collectively turn around the sound of May's voice. She waves and beams us beans as she runs closer. What are you doing here, May? And we're literally going to be up against you. Curry sounds less than amused. I wanted to wish you all good luck. I'm so excited for our match. Aw, she's very sweet. Me too. May smiles and nods. Ah, uh, let's give it our best. That's a big anime line right there. <laughs> good luck. Good, good luck to you guys too. We won't hold back. Me smiles. We won't either. Perfect. As quickly as she arrives, she's gone in a flash. She's so nice. I'm totally feeding off of her enthusiasm. I'm getting a better vibe off of this match too than the one off of Strike X. Yeah, that might have been messy. No. Oh, uh, show blinks like Kiari's outburst. No. She's just putting on an act. She was trying to psych us out. Don't fall for it. I think she might have been trying to psych you out, but most of us are, like, it's sportsmanship. I don't think that was her goal. You guys don't know her like I do. You can't trust her. Especially when she's acting all friendly like that. Now, I mean, it sounds paranoid, but at the same time, maybe that's true? Carrie's been acting strange, more so than usual when May's involved. Anyways, let's go strategize while we have some time. Okay. She doesn't wait for us to answer and begins power walking through the, pre the, the towards the pre-combat rooms. Hey, wait for us! Uh-huh. We jog to catch up and follow her. After a quick change in our pilot suits, we meet in the holodeck. Holodesk, not deck. Wish we were in Star Trek. Carrie sets up a batch. A few minutes later, the holodesk projects an arena and the gears involved in the fight. Alright, so what's the deal? Onna Bugiesha is a melee Bugiesha. only team. Bugiesha. It will be important to pay attention to our positioning and maintain oh, a safe like distance. Bugiesha. Bugiesha. Okay. I'll try and remember that, but yeah, sounds good. I thank you for reading that for me. It'll be important to pay attention to our okay. We've got we've had close combat teams in the past. Cause of the Wild comes to mind from a few weeks ago. Mayu is focused on the holodeck a holodesk and takes a serious tone. Claw of the Wild was a melee centric team. But their gears were knitted to perform a hybrid role. Based on Onabugesha's data, their gears are all custom tailored for high bursts of speed and close combat engagements. Ooh, interesting. So, they're they're a one ha one uh, a one hat trick kind of team, but they're probably really good at it. We would benefit greatly from keeping a distance. If we play defensively, it will force them to chase us, and we can wear them down before going on the offense. What do you think, Brosif? Hmm. I agree, range is key. If they have no ranged weaponry, we should do as much damage from afar as we can. Whittling them down before fully engaging them will give us the advantage. However, there is a big issue if they corner you. You don't want to be backed up against the wall because then you have very limited mobility yourself and that makes them have an even greater advantage. Sounds good to me. May you and Kyori both, uh, both nod. Okay, well, we can all go range, but Aurora can't. The team looks at Kiri. I'll engage May head on, and keep her out of the fight. That kind of goes against our plan. To my surprise, Kiri grits her teeth and bites back her retort. She studies the holodesk for a little too long, then sighs. I guess I don't have much of a choice. I'll hang back with you guys, and intercept if one of the enemy gears manages to break through. She's really got a kind of a chip on her shoulder for her. May who knows? I think that would be best. Okay, let's recap. We'll play it from a distance and keep baiting their team. Since Mayu is our best shot, we'll keep her well protected and follow her lead. Agreed. Kari looks right at me. She finally looks more focused than I've seen her all week. You and Sho can play aggressively if we take the lead. I will intercept whoever reaches Mayu, if they even manage to. Got it? I all nod. The tension is palpable, even though Kari is always serious. Her tone is more aggressive than usual. We have a rare opportunity to really boost our MMR, and we can't throw this chance away. I bet you this is a real chance I could lose this. I better be on my game. So, 
distance until we have to be. That's a key, because if we can wear him down, then we can take him out fast. There's absolutely no way we can lose to May. I almost sounded like a threat. I nodded a little uneasily and glanced at Show and Mayu, whose faces mirror my thoughts. Carrie turns back to the holodesk and uploads our plans as we wait in silence. A loud beep announces the match. I mutter under my breath. Saved by the beep. Show and Mayu seem equally relieved. Just make sure you guys stay focused. Of course. Show forces enthusiasm into his voice, attempting to raise our morale. Carrie ignores him and Shao deflates. Let's go. Well, uh... I'm nervous. We enter the arena from one side while Anna Bulgesha enters from the other. Welcome, everyone! Are you all ready for another fantastic match? Interesting. Interesting, interesting. I wonder what this is going to be like. The crowd erupts into a loud cheer. Good, because we have an amazing one lined up for you. Ona Bulgesha versus A. 2049 11! It'd be nice if we could change that name. <laughs> oh, hello, pretty in pink. Everyone's comms are open and we wait the sound off. May's team gets into position and waits with a relaxed confidence. Uh, we're gonna be all tense. We also get ready information. The tension I felt from before intensifies. This no longer feels like a friendly of a match as I thought it'd be. As soon as the sound off blares, May's team dashes straight toward us. A faint shimmer surrounding their gear reveals a hefty frontal shield. That makes sense. Ooh, that could be useful later. Bye. On it! May raises her gun and takes aim when the three of us position to protect her. Heavy round fires into the first gear in the distance. Although the shot connects, it disperses into a hexagon of shimmers. What? They're shields! They're tailored to deal with rail rounds. I need the shield to be weakened so that my shot can penetrate and force an immediate to power. Okay. Oof. Affirmative. I'll stay back and protect. You two go aggressive and focus on knocking out their shield. Excellent. All right, so let's do this. Let's go. Roger that. Switching to EMP rounds now. Ah! Sean and I boost forward, spraying the ha a hail of energy rounds. The enemy team, uh, team takes evasive maneuvers. May breaks away while the other three continue racing towards Mayu. Oh, keep an eye on her. One down. Closest enemy gear takes the brunt of the damage and his front barrier drops. Mayu takes advantage of its vulnerability and aims the shot at the gear, instantly depowering it. Nice! One down! I have two of them approaching me. Cody? Cody! Oh no. No, she went for May's baiting. Ooh. That looks pretty cool though. Wow. I love the design. I you don't get to see that in like the like the animations because you know it's got to be kind of basic. But man, the Aurora looks very beautiful. Aurora has already le left her position. Sprints towards May. What are you doing? You have to protect Mayu. I am. I'm taking out May so she can't attack. Oh, fetch. That wasn't the plan. You two cover her. We are not in position to. <laughs> oh, She's already engaged. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Sean and I boost back to Mayu, but it's too late. I've been depowered. Fetch. Her voice is lethally calm. That this can't be good. Oh no. The two enemy gears shift to show and I. Okay. Two on two, but not much distance. Play this out carefully. Gotcha. For once show is serious. Alright, let's do this. Let's dance, you and I. The two gears split their forces and focus uh, forces and focus. And one of them charges towards me, while the other boosts towards Show. I boost away, take aim, fire. My aim is true, and the blasts of the energy round collide with her gear. She stumbles back from the hit while I create more distance between us. Let's do it. Before she can strike again and move away to create more distance between us again. I raise my gun for another shot. Uh, shoot! She tries to dodge, but it's too slow. My shots pelt her shield. She pushes back from the force of the blow, but once she gets in her bearing, she boosts right toward me. Oh boy. As she approaches, I boost away from her and weave around the arena, forcing her to chase me. Steady my aim. Target! Yes! She's too slow to dodge me, and, her shot, and my shot strikes right through her shield. Her gear can't support the hit, she depowers. I look over her show, just in time to see the enemy gear strike. Watch out! I boost closer and shoot again. The round connects with the gear just as her attack connects with the show. Show blocks just a second too late and he depowers, but because she wasn't expecting my attack, she left herself vulnerable and is also depowered. Oh man, it might be me and May. May is the only remaining enemy gear. One more gear and the match is ours! On it. 
Abuso, Kari, and Mei, who are locked in a duel. Arara strikes with vigor, but is parried. Mei retaliates with a wide swing, which Kari barely manages to block. I'm here. Don't interfere! What? Huh? What? What do you mean, don't interfere? Let me handle this! Cody! This isn't a simulation! It's a real match! Yeah, what you're saying! May is going down in a one-on-one. -on -one. She won't have any excuses this way! Oh, fetch. It's gonna be up to me whether I interfere. Ah. Oh. Do I risk it to let Kauri have her moment? You know... I trust her. It's stupid. But I trust her. If she feels she can do this, she can do this. And I can use the time to position myself to be ready as soon as I see the strike fall. This is a team match! You can't put a win in jeopardy because you want to make this personal! What should I do? Don't interfere. I cut Eagle's engines. What are you doing? <sighs> May notices my engine is off and she lunges toward Eagle. Defend! Eagle bursts into action. What are you doing? I'm just not gonna sit here and let her take me out. Strike back. Anticipating her swing, I sidestep using my thrusters and counterattack with my own blade. With no shield activated on her back, uh, on her back arc, my swing completely depowers her gear. Nice one! Show is the only one to speak. Guys? May we carry a both silence. Aurora sheaths her blade next to Serena. I'm sorry, she attacked me! I was going to not interfere, and then she lunged for me. I'm not going to just not do anything. The crowd roars to life, but their excitement doesn't penetrate the friction clouding our team. Oh, I hate boy. to rush our competing teams, but we have another match in just a few minutes. Please clear the arena. Oh boy. May's team heads back to their pre-combat room as we head to ours. Buckle up, guys. It's going to be your F1. It's already been that long. When we enter the pre-combat room, Kauri is nowhere to be found. She must have already been ch must already be changing. Show and I go change, but Mayu stays back. She must be really upset if she's actively avoiding Kauri. Oh boy. Man, I'm not liking the vibe right now. Uh, yeah, you and me. It, not that I'm blaming you or anything. I mean, you did hang back, but May charged at you. Yeah. I exhale. It's in the past now. Yeah. Show and I finish tra changing and head back to the pre-combat room. As soon as we enter, Kauri stomps up to me. May is nowhere to be found. Why did you do that? Do what? You engaged May. No, May engaged me. Yes, and you fought back. You expected me to just sit there and give her a free kill? She opens her mouth to retort, but pauses. You don't understand. How could he? You aren't making any sense at all. Kauri tenses and glare glares at Show. I don't have to explain myself to you. Uh, yeah, kinda do. No, Cowdy. Uh oh. We turn around to see Mayu. Her jaw is set and her eyes are hard. I've never seen her this upset before. It's chilling. Oh boy. Cowdy's eyes widen. Mayu? You put your personal agenda above the team and risk the match. Oh, snap. Our positioning was compromised, and I had no support. Those two were out of position because of an aggressive call that you made. Oh, man. That ended up costing us two depowered gears, one of which was avoidable. So, no, you do owe us an explanation. Fetch. Her voice is calm, but severe. Miu's ice is a lot more unnerving than any of Carrie's fiery outbursts. That's true. Holy crap. I got chills, man. <sighs> I don't think it's out of control. I think Kauri does owe us an answer. But I don't want her to feel like she's... Ah, oh, fetch. Ah. Uh... Mayu has a point. Show nods and we all look at Kauri. Kauri looks between the three of us and sighs. I get it. I made a mistake. 
But I can't be expected to always make the perfect calls. We don't expect that from you either. But when you start throwing the blame around... I'm sorry, okay? That didn't sound very sincere. It would help if you meant it. Kaori clenches her hands into fists. I said I'm sorry! I messed up! It was my fault! Blame me! What else do you want? Let's drop it. She's already said sorry. Shao crosses his arms but nods. At least Mayu seems to have returned to her normal demeanor. Okay. We usually celebrate as a team after a win, but I get the feeling that won't happen this time. After packing up our stuff, we exit the pre-combat room. Oh, man. May is waiting for us outside, leaning against the door. Hey, guys. Congratulations on the win. I glance at May, barely registering her presence. I'm too wrapped up in what happened to pre-combat room. May smire falters when no one answers. Wow. With gloomy faces like that, I'd think you were the ones that lost. Yeah, we kind of did. Shut up, May! May flinches from the ferocity in Kaori's voice. Uh, I was just kidding, Kaori. This is all your fault! May is stunned into silence. You seriously need to calm down. May didn't do anything. No. Nope. You're being too harsh, Kaori. Kaori's eyes flash. You guys are taking her side? I thought you were my teammates! Oh, man. You aren't taking anyone's side, but since the match, you've been acting like a complete... Show! Oh. Shao catches himself and falls silent. Carrie looks at him. A complete what? Oh. Nothing. No. She pauses when she finally speaks, her voice cracks. I see. That's how you really feel. Oh, no. No, wait, no! Shao's lo look softens. No, I didn't mean that. Carrie turns to face May. You. She lowers her head. You always turn my friends against me. Oh, fetch. She spins on her heel and walks away. When she thinks she's out of eyesight, she starts running. Kauri! Kauri disappears. Sho is about to rush after her when May blocks his path. I have to go apologize. I didn't mean what I said. May sighs. <sighs> you need to give her space right now. Or you'll just make it worse. Uh. Uh. Sho looks torn, but doesn't try to follow Kauri. I don't think I've ever seen her too upset to yell. May looks down worriedly at her feet. I was too mean to her earlier. I'm sorry. You guys shouldn't blame yourselves. Calvary just needs time to cool off. Sound like you speak from experience. May sighs and nods. What's up with her saying you always turn my friends against me? It's a long story. Something that happened back in middle school. Mm -hmm. Something to do with Ryota? You two go way back. Yeah. Her maze pocket vibrates. She pulls out her phone and reviews the message. My team is wondering where I am. Don't worry too much about Kauri. She'll be okay. I'll talk to her when she's calmed down. Hmm. We nod and watch May head out. I don't feel any less guilty. I shouldn't have acted that way earlier. No, it was my stupid comments. I never should have said something like that. Gosh, I feel like a dirt bag. I guess I still feel guilty too. No. May may be right. But the problem is, she and May have had such a bad relationship up till now. Following May's advice sounds like a terrible idea. So we're gonna go check up on her. But sadly, we have to wait till next episode. This is already way longer than I normally go. But that's what I'm going to do. If you have an opinion where I should maybe do it differently, just let me know. But we can't just le let her like do that. Let like I don't know. Yeah, she maybe she'll yell at me. Maybe she'll berate me. But she needs to know. Like she, like she, no one should have to spend an entire night thinking that her friends don't trust her anymore. So that's what we're going to do. Dang, what a down note to end it on, but it'll give us something to work towards next time. So thank you so much for joining me. It's been a pleasure, and I hope that you join me again next episode. And, it w and so, until the next video you watch, or whatever you happen to see me in next, I'll see you there. Oh, and happy holidays. See ya.